Hello, my name's Jorb. I love gear. I've gotten the question enough times on to how, what's the right way to install patches onto the DeepMind. I said, you know what, I'll just do a video myself. Uh, this question came up on my video where I replicated the 128 Juno 106 factory presets and the video where I copied the 32 uh, JX3P factory presets plus a few more. Uh, so those videos are in the description if you're so inclined or after you learn this and you really want to try it out. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to install those using the desktop editor. Uh, I haven't done SysX with a librarian. I haven't done the web editor. This is all I know. I've only done it USB. I haven't done it over Wi-Fi. So that's how I'm going to demonstrate it. Let's do it. Alrighty, I'm using OBS to record my desktop. I feel like a gamer. Here on my DeepMind, you see I've got default programs and then a couple JX3P patches. Okay. So I'm going to open the editor on my desktop. And it doesn't always find it right away. See, there it goes. If you go into settings, sometimes if I click on input and output, it'll update to get it. I am connected over USB. You can also do Wi-Fi if you want, and resync will update it as well. Okay, back to the overview. The voices will update the same on both. As I change parameters, they'll change the same on both. We love we're, we know we're connected lovely. And so here in the preset manager, it's a little confusing layout, okay? The left and right side is like if you open the same file on your computer two different times, okay? If you open photos twice. Sure, you can copy things between them and copy one in, blah, 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 but the changes will be reflected in both whenever you make an edit, okay? And so the top half, these top two windows, and we're just gonna focus on one at a time, are your banks. So if I click on F, we see default, 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 and then the JX3P programs, same thing here, default, and then brass and e-piano are the first two. I'm actually going to make this a little bit taller so you can see more at once. That's great. Okay. So all those six defaults and then the JX3P presets. And so these files here are the SysX I downloaded below my YouTube videos. And there's two ways to bring them in. One, super simple. You can just drag. You'll see it gets highlighted. You drop it. Sometimes it'll crash at this point. Not always. But if I scroll down to the bottom... There it is, Jorb JX3P, and it's on both sides because, again, this is two instances of the same file. Uh, and where those actually go, because you see this doesn't have that icon, it's not on the unit currently. Where those actually go, and I only know on Windows, I'm sorry, Mac users, but if you type in run and then type in percent app data percent, it's like a secret folder, I guess. This is where you install Minecraft mods. And then <laughs> FAT12 is the folder where it's at, which apparently was a development name from the DeepMind and then banks, and then here is the Jorb JX3P that I just dragged over. So how about the Jorb Juno ones? We can put them into this folder as well, and I'll close that and see it hasn't updated in the editor yet. You just close it and open it again, and then we go into settings, resync. Oh, looks like it already got it. Overview. See that we're connected. Preset manager all the way to the bottom. There's the Juno presets as well, and it's reflected on the right side in addition. Okay. So, I want to take these JX3P presets and put them over Bank F. Okay? So, on the left side, I highlight the JX3P presets. On the right side, I copy Bank F. And I look at what I see in the bottom halves, in the patch half, okay? And I make sure that those are what I thought they were, and the answer is yes. And then, on the source, where I'm copying to, I hit Duplicate Bank. Um, I get nervous about copying over patches I care about or patches I want to keep. And this is an extra step I take just to be sure. And so once this is finished, if we scroll down to the bottom, there's bank F copy. And let's go into that banks folder. There it is, bank F copy as well. Okay. And so now back to where we were. I may have crashed. Yep. <laughs> I think sometimes it crashes when you have that app data folder open. So I'll keep it closed. Crashes happen for me often, and I'm not that concerned about it because I'm taking time and being careful. And actually, I'm really glad it happened while I was recording because you'll probably experience it as well. Okay, so the patches I want to copy to the right side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so these Jenks3P patches are my source and bank F on the unit with this little icon is my destination. So I highlight them both and then I hit copy to right. And it'll take a little while. You can see the progress bar on my desktop and receiving sysx is here on the unit. 
Uh, it'll still play. And then once this hits 100, we see receiving sysx will go away, and it looks like nothing happened, right? But that doesn't sound the way it did before. If I go bank up and bank down, now it's reflected the way we want it to be. And just to demonstrate again, let's highlight bank F on both of these. What do we see? String one, string two, organ one, organ two. Same thing, string one, string two, organ one, organ two. And there you have it. There you go. That's honestly it. Um, you can drag them right into the editor and then copy back and forth. Important to remember, um, and I guess I didn't show you, but you can do the exact same operations with individual patches. Okay, you can copy them from left into right. What the save, well, and look at the little picture to help you understand, okay? It, that's the way I understood it. It'll take whatever's on the unit and put that into the selected slot you have. Load preset will take from the editor and move that into whatever open slot you have on the DMind. Okay, and same thing, reset will make it default. Copy to right will move from your two windows. That's it. You can drag them in here, you can use app data percent. I'm talking too much, there's no reason to. <laughs> I appreciate you watching. Hope this is helpful. Uh, check out my patches. I worked hard on them and I hope you appreciate it. If you're subscribed, it really means the world to me. 750 people think I have something to say. That feels amazing. Thanks again. Enjoy them. Good luck moving your patches. I've been Jorb. See you in the next one. <laughs>